My name is Mona Mansour. Hi, I'm Flannery and I wrote a funeral story. One of the things I love about the play is that Flannery took a very kind of iconic setting. We were working on these 10 minute plays for my playwriting class and, and my sister brought up, oh, maybe a funeral. And I really liked that idea and I wanted to do a twist on it. There is a twist. And so I just love that there was sort of a darkness to it as well as a sincerity and then a sense of absurdity. Seeing my mentor's perspective of the play that I wouldn't have seen before helped me write a better play. Her rewrite was very much on point. She kind of expanded on the physical life of the characters. Well, this experience has taught me um, that I have a new talent and I'll write plays for fun in the future. And I can't wait to read more of what Flannery writes. A Funeral Story by Flannery Paterino. It's a dark, cloudy day as two inseparable best friends, Tate and Emerson, step into a funeral home. They are here for their friend Blair, who passed away unexpectedly. As they walk in the room, they see a coffin. Besides that, they see a lot of different colored stuffed cats around the room, along with candles, sunflowers, and daisies. Wow, this must be it. I guess so. Blair did like cats. There are so many of them. Who even knew there were this many cats out there? They are real, right? Yes, they are real. They killed real cats and had them stuffed just for Blair. Mm -hmm. Ha ha ha, no sarcasm, please. I'm just checking. Just trying to lighten the mood. Did you hear how she died? I heard a bunch of rumors. Not sure which one is true. Yeah, me too. It's crazy. I heard she fell over and drowned after trying to kiss a reflection of the moon she saw in the lake near her house. Huh. How does that even work? Was she on a boat or something? Was she... Oh, oh. <laughs> that would not be possible. She couldn't kiss the lake from a boat. She would have to be standing near the water's edge. Then she was probably drunk. But that's not the rumor I heard. The one that I heard was even weirder. I heard she adopted a tiger and it ate her. Oh, God. She did like cats. Mm, yeah, but sounds like someone watched too much Tiger King. Most likely, it's a simpler death. Someone else did say it might have been a car accident. Our English professor thought it was an overdose. Maybe the family doesn't want to say. Yeah, maybe. Any of them here? Not sure. Hard to see with all these cats everywhere. I only met her parents once. I think I might have seen her dad when I came in. He seems uh intimidating though, so I I'm gonna wait to say hi. I think we have to say more than hi. Well, well you start the conversation by saying hi, and then they say hi back, and then you say, um, I'm sorry about your daughter. Maybe I should do all the talking. <clears throat> Fine by me. You are the writer. Have you ever been to a lake before? I think I've been to one when I was six for my grandfather. I don't remember anything. I haven't. I don't know what I was expecting for my first wake, but it definitely wasn't uh, this. We could have decorated this place better. You could have done a sculpture of her as a centerpiece. Uh, hard to do a sculpture like that in just a few days. Well, a painting then. The point is, I don't think Blair would have liked all of this. It does make her seem like an old cat lady. There should be glitter and LED lights. <laughs> I don't know about LED lights. It is a funeral. If you can have candles at a funeral, you can have LED lights. Remember how much Blair loved changing the colors of her LEDs in her, with her remotes? Yeah, it was like the inside of a mood ring when you visited her place. If this is what they think she would have wanted, they didn't know her at all. They did seem in a rush to do the funeral, but they should have taken more time to make it like Blair would have wanted it. They should have asked us for help or some of her other friends. Facts. I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, it has been almost a year. We didn't have any classes together. 
last semester and, and see her last summer. And... Wish we didn't fall out. Mm -hmm. I, I thought we would see her again. Yeah, I mean, we are only juniors. Thought we'd graduate together. Didn't get a chance to go to Vegas to celebrate her 21st birthday, you know, like, like we planned. I know. Plenty of LED lights in Vegas. Blair was so much fun. <laughs> Every day was like a party for Blair. Exactly. This place should have balloons, no cats. Does she even own a cat? Don't you remember Simba? Oh, yeah. But it was just the one cat, right? She had a few others. She did? Uh, they kept dying on her. She would forget to feed them. I don't remember their names. <gasps> one of them looked like Garfield. Wow. That is something I did not know about Blair. Doesn't sound like she should have owned cats. She was a free spirit. She loved life, hated responsibility. Yeah, we had a good time together. Watching dance mom clips on YouTube. Ugh, yes, while baking double chocolate chip cookies and sipping bubble tea. Remember arguing about which bubble tea flavor was the best? Yes, I still think that passion fruit is the best and your love for avocado is wrong. Agree to disagree. Blair only drank mango. She was obsessed with mango. We should get mango tea after the funeral, in her honor. We should. A toast to Blair. Yes. Uh, a toast to Blair, who would have been a great... What was her major again? Marketing. She was going to be a social media consultant. She would have been great at that. She was great at creating buzz. She knew how to throw a party together very quickly. And they were always the best parties ever. She, uh... She snapped me about a party in the fall. I had a project due and I couldn't go. Wish I did though. I didn't make it either. I feel bad. I saw the post afterwards. It was packed. Where are those people now? Do you recognize anyone here? I haven't seen anyone I know yet, but uh, it's a good turnout. Not many people our age though. Blair deserves better. <laughs> Period. I think we should have a memorial for her at the college. Well, we could do that. I bet we could get a lot of friends together. Yeah, but it's weird that we haven't seen any of them here, right? True. Some people avoid funerals, though. The, the coffin and all. Yeah, some people think it gives you bad luck. I'm not too comfortable with it either, but uh, I wanted to come. Same. Should we go to the coffin together? Why not? We have to kneel, right? I think so. <clears throat> Looks like there's enough room for the two of us. I can't see Blair on the coffin from here. Me either, but I have bad eyesight, so who knows? Well, looks like no one is waiting right now. <laughs> Sh should we do it? No time like the present, I guess. Let's make a run for it. Let's, let's... I hope you're joking. Shall we? We shall. They slowly walk up to the coffin together. You know, this is gonna be the last time we're gonna say goodbye to Blair. I know. I just wish I could speak to her one last time. What should we even say? We'll thank her for all that she's done for us. And we'll tell her that she'll be in our hearts no matter what. Of course, I know she'll be looking out for us. They're right next to the coffin. They kneel in front of the coffin. That is definitely not Blair. That's a cat. <clears throat> Everyone in the room starts to look at them, but Emerson and Tate try to act like nothing's wrong. A cat in a hat and jacket? So many sequins. Why is she in such a big coffin? She is so tiny. This is so messed up. I didn't know there was a wig for cats. 
What kind of people would put together such a fancy funeral for a cat? Rich people. The plaque on her coffin says her name was Katie Perry. I can't believe I'm kneeling in front of a dead cat. Well, at least the decorations make more sense now. And that's why we don't know anyone here. How long do we have to stay like this? Uh, let's just get up now. Everybody's already giving us weird looks. R.I.P. Katie Purry. Amen. <clears throat> they both get up and start to leave the room. As they walk out of the room, they see people crying with their heads down. As they exit, they see another room across the way. What? Emerson, look over there. We found it. Oh, I had no idea there was going to be more than one funeral going on. Shall we? Again? We shall. I told you there'd be LED lights at Blair's way.